Okay, in this video, we're going to take a look at color. And there are, there are two colors to any given shape. So let me bring out a, um, a rectangle here, like a big one. And if you look at this uh, rectangle right now, it is a yellow rectangle, what looks to be a yellow rectangle. But there are actually, there's another area for color, and that's the area around the outside, and we call that the stroke color. So if you take a look at the bottom left corner of the screen, you'll notice that we have a fill color, which is yellow, and right now a stroke color of none, which means there's nothing around the outside. None is actually represented by this little X right here, this little block down at the bottom left corner. So for example, if I were to click right now, if this is selected and I were to click this X, what that means is that rectangle itself is filled with no color. I'm gonna turn it back to yellow, but I could say, for example, no color, all right? So if we want to give the stroke or the outline a color, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold the shift key down. And while the shift key is held down, I'm gonna pick a different color, in this case, black. Okay, so now I have a fill color of yellow and a stroke color of black. Now it's barely visible. Let's see if you can see it. Okay, it's barely visible around the outside. Um, so what I can do is, in order to adjust that stroke, I can double click down there and it brings up the stroke window. And on this window, I find my third tab here is the stroke style. And right here shows me the width. And I can take that width and I can say, I can either scroll up like this. And as I'm using this up arrow, you can see that on the screen here that my stroke is getting bigger. Or I can just go in there and type something like the number 10. Okay, Maybe, let's make it even bigger. Let's say 50. Okay, and that'll show you that the stroke is now 50. Now I'm going to go ahead and close this window now. And I can adjust these colors. So again, if I click on pink while uh, while selected, it changes to pink. And if I want to change the border color or stroke color to, let's say, something like orange, I hold my shift key down and click orange, and now my stroke color has changed. Okay, so that's how you work with the two different colors, the fill and the stroke. 